I want to thank Radar Productions um, and the Hormel Center for having me uh, for this month and for Mason and um, Juliana for bugging me <laughs> to get me to write um, when I got busy and staying on top of me, staying on top, making sure that I stayed on top of uh, writing. And so I have um, two to three pieces. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to read first, but um, two of them are based off of a book called Trapdoor, um, Transcultural Production and the Politics of Visibility. How many people have heard of it? None? Okay. Um, I was actually very, um, so it's actually, um, I'm not sure if it's curated by or edited by a um, cultural icon that I love and respect, uh, Raina Gossett um, and Eric Stanley, and features uh, trans people talking about um, culture from a different lens. Uh, so the first one is called... Um, I named it Vertebrae. And the quote that inspired me was, black transgender lives matter, and for black transgender women in particular, the struggle for life in all its capaciousness is a struggle against ongoing premature death. Um, che Gossett, Blackness and the Trouble of Trans Visibility, which is in Chapdoor, and... Um, it is the best of times. It is the worst of times. It is the age of wisdom. It is the age of foolishness. It is the epoch of belief. It is the epoch of incredulity. It is the season of light. It is the season of darkness. It is the spring of hope. It is the winter of despair. We have everything before us. We have nothing before us. In short, the period was so far like the past period, and some of its noisiest authorities insisted on its being received for good or for evil and the superlative degree of comparison only. Eleven years ago, I reached and went past my fourth wall. I was in the back seat of a 1999 Acura with a red cup of tequila and a bag of hot Cheetos and lime with my three best friends, drunk in the parking lot of Taco Bell near the Clackamas Mall on 82nd Ave, <laughs> catching, the, <laughs> catching the good vibes of Saturday night I had yearned for since I could ever remember. I could taste freedom. Got my Vans on, but they look like sneakers. Got my Vans on, but they look like sneakers. Um, the pack's one underground hit, bass rattling the car from the back speakers, was jarringly turned down. Jasmine, in the driver's seat, nearly muting the song by turning the audio knob, shot me a look. Did you tell Marco about you yet? She asked, her Blackberry phone in her left hand, beeping a pale red light of AOL instant messenger text. I groaned, and I sipped more tequila. Girl, no. I just met him. I stated, Marco was a guy that went to Jefferson High School and was in the Columbia Villa Crips, recently joining the gang that ran the neighborhood I was previously from. Jasmine, in her ulterior motive, had set me up on a date with him to see if he turned out to be really gay since her boyfriend, also in the gang, had informed her that most of the guys had s their suspicions. You need to stop lying to these boys and tell them what you really is, she said with an eye roll. Swinging her braids as she repositioned herself comfortably black in her seat, her nails clicking on her cell phone keypad rapidly as she gave play to by plays to her boyfriend. She turned the music back up slightly. I'm not lying, sis, I said as I toyed with the peeling leather of the armrest. There's just more to me than this TS thing, you know. I just want to know, I just want him to know me and the real me. I think I like him, I said, half embarrassed to say it out loud. Sanquita, in the passenger seat, crunching on hot Cheetos, <laughs> says... He really gay, so why you think telling him go make a difference? Like, for real, everybody know about you. It's no big deal. 
You put that pressure on yourself. And maybe she was right. Everyone did know. And for nearly eight months, I had been... (laughs) um, I had been wearing hand-me-downs, Jasmine's hand-me-downs from Forever 21. um, And at the time was going by Mimi. Homage to Mariah Carey. (laughs) And to be honest... No one knew what the word transgender meant. Everyone just thought I was really gay or that I took gay really far. (laughs) I didn't care either way. The safest place, it seemed, was to be as visible as a peacock in the midst of everyone else's uncertainty. They figure if you're that bold to go against the grain, you certainly can't be fucked with. And sure, there were times that it sucked. Telling substitute teachers to call me by my chosen name, the stairs as I entered senior inquiry were my morning greeting instead of hello, the bus drivers who shook their head and muttered, Lord Jesus, as I boarded on the bus, the many times I would run into congregation members from my parents' church, even though I had long since been kicked out and living on my own, and they would ask, do your parents know what you're up to? And of course, there was the senior shit list. For though I was graduating early, I didn't actually anticipate making any list, but the list was private and student-led and student-determined, anonymously making its way on the internet, and being printed and distributed throughout the entire school. So I got three nominations, most likely to get voted off American Idol, due to the fact that I ruined the national anthem, (laughs) most likely to be on Jerry Jerry Springer, understandably, because that's the only time you probably ever saw trans people, and finally, most likely to get AIDS which haunts me even to this day. The biggest heartbreak of them all is when there was a handwritten petition signed by 273 students requesting the principal to disallow me from using the girls' bathroom. That was crushing, and that was heartbreaking. Um, Oddly, In spite of, I felt free. I felt like people were going to judge me regardless, but that felt normal. I was in a fishbowl, but that felt normal too. And there were oddly enough weird perks to being famous on a high school campus. And apparently, according to my friends, multiple campuses. Strangely, I got invited to house parties before everyone else did. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so that's the first piece. Thank you. <laughs> and I have, what's my time? Is it done? The, okay. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.